In this video, we'll learn about two web standard methods that is available in every single browser. And these are to called create object URL and revoke object URL, which you can just basically access right there, right? Create object URL and uh, revoke object URL. So in this video, we'll learn about what do these two uh, methods do and what do we actually use them for coming up. What's up y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry where we discuss software engineering by example and if you're new to this channel welcome. Thank, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, we have a lot of software engineering content, web standard, we talk about JavaScript, Python, anything software engineering, proxies, networking, right? We, we discuss it in this channel, right? With that said, uh, Let's just jump into the video. Okay, so we're gonna discuss these two methods, create object URL and revoke object URL, which are two web standard method that can be used to store resources locally. So think about it, you have used the Fitch API, right, to pull some images or files, and you have you want to re keep reusing them, but you don't want to go back to the server, right? So what do you do is you create an object URL which kind of creates a file locally in the storage in the browser storage and you can reference this in your uh, application to to make a more interactive uh, user uh, web application instead of going back to the server which which gives a, a bad latency essentially right so uh, this is what we're going to learn essentially guys right so we're going to use the fitch api i'm going to reference the fitch api videos that we have made here uh, so you can take a look at that so we're going to use the fitch api to pull up an image right and then this image is now created as a web, uh, the object URL. And then we're going to essentially load it on demand, okay? And now if I unload that image, if I click that, I'm going to get an error essentially because that if, uh, object has been revoked. So let's uh, let's just try to build that, okay? So that's exactly what we're going to build, okay? With that said, let's actually start try to build that, okay? I'm going to open a brand new window here and then... I create a new brand new project and we're gonna call it uh, object uh, create revoke right and then brand new folder in visual studio code and then we gotta create an and then just like a basic simple html5 boilerplate code and now we're now we have, we have this uh, boilerplate code let's go ahead and create what we need here what do we need man what do we need we need uh, two buttons right uh, a button that is called load, button load, which we're gonna load the image, okay? Load, and then another button that uh, called unload, right? So this will be, this will be the, the load will actually fetch the image for us and pull it back and store it in the object resource locally and unload will basically destroy that resource which is locally uh, saved okay so let's go ahead and build an image uh, which is broken right and give it an id image one and then let's do the same thing image two image three image four because why not right we can build as many as we want and then what we want to do is uh, we want to let's write some scripts const uh, button load equal document or get element by id and same thing for for button unload so we can unload that thing okay and then we need image one document or get element by id just, just getting that image right then same thing for image two, image three, and four. Basic stuff, guys. All right, uh, three and four. Cool. So now uh, that we have all that stuff, what we can do is, you know what, let's just create an array here, guys, and then start pushing all these images here. So I'll tell you why later. I think we're gonna add the same event listener to all of them. So let's just do that. Cool. All right. So now, now, now that we have that, what we're gonna do is button load dot add event listener. Click, and then we will basically start fetching that image. Okay. And uh, to fetch an image, we actually need an image. All right, guys. We just created an image here. It's a very simple image. That's how it looks like. 
right? <laughs> this is actually my previous video, right? So now we have an image. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna make this an async function in order to use a, a wait just for because for the fetch, right? So we're gonna do is a HTTP uh, localhost whatever the port here. I don't remember the port here, so whatever the port will be, we'll we'll change that accordingly. Uh, the image is called test.png. So what we need to do is we're gonna create a let object URL here, we're gonna save it here. That's our object URL that will be created after we save the blob. So we're gonna first use the fetch to pull up the blob, the result, okay? We do a wait, and that will give me the result. Then the next thing we wanna do is we will uh, do const blob equal await result dot blob. Okay, so we discussed this guys in a previous video, right? I'm gonna reference it here if you were interested to learn more about this stuff. So once we get the blob, what we wanna do is use our create object URL, which will take that blob, that the whole thing, right? The entire image which whatever that is, and we'll create a local version of this. So we'll basically store it in the browser, okay? And that will create essentially a string, if you think about it. And that string, we, we will alert that and showing that, right? Let's, let's just go, uh, da -da -da, say, uh, object URL created locally, and then we can say this, right? I love just coding in pure nav vanilla JavaScript. You don't need anything, you don't need to install any, uh, uh, like ref, uh, frameworks or anything. I just love to code in vanilla. If, you, if you're new to this channel, it's like you'll notice that I always code in the vanilla stuff, vanilla Python, vanilla uh, uh, JavaScript. All right, so now we have that. What we're gonna do is uh, add another function called button unload, and that's event load listener click, right? We don't really need to do anything here. All we need to do is literally, what we're gonna do is url.revoke uh, object URL. And that, the object URL that we got, I'm gonna revoke it essentially. Since it's just as one line, we can actually do that. Right, right, we can do that, one line. So that is unloading, creating that object URL. This will unload it. So where is the rest of the stuff? Okay, we need to continue adding the event listener for those guys. So if these all these images are broken, right, because I set them as X, right? So what do I want? If I click on this image, I want to load it with this image, your uh, object resource that I loaded locally. So in order to do that, you're going to do for each resource here, image, uh, do add event listener, click, and then literally the E, uh, we're gonna get the target, which is the image itself, right? And then we're gonna set the source to be the object URL, object URL, right? So that's, we're gonna do it on all the images and just like that, we should have things uh, working, guys. Let's just check it out. Um, HTTP-server, right? That's how we load a web server. Oh, we're listening to 8080. Cool, let's do that, okay? So, localhost 8080 localhost 8080 <laughs> one more time all right now there you go the four broken images the load and unload okay if i click load what will happen is now i have the image but it looks like something broke here let's see ooh oh you know what, guys? We forgot to change the URL. So it's 8080. We have to change that to 8080 instead, right? That's what we need to do. Right now, let's go back, refresh. Hopefully that just works now. There you go. Object URL created locally. That's what I'm talking about. So you guys, this is the string that represents the image that we have loaded. Okay, so the image we fetched became a binary in memory. Then we use this to create an object resource on file on disk, right? I think. <laughs> and then that will basically, we start, we can start using that now. So what we're gonna do is I click on the first image, which will use that global variable now, and we'll load that image. If I click on the second one, we're gonna load the second image, right? And so on. But what I'm gonna do is I can now unload that thing. So I just destroyed it using the revoke 
uh, object, right? So what we're gonna do now, if I click this, I'm going to get an error. ERR, file not found, right? And that's because we have revoked this object resource URL. So that's the, that's a basic use case of uh, URL, uh, create object re, uh, resource, and uh, revoke object resource. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a like if you like it. And I'm going to uh, provide the source code in the uh, description. And with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you on the next one. Have a good day.